hello guys welcome back in the last lecture we have discussed all about the domains in this video we're gonna talk about the file manager so let's get started so I go to the advanced and inside the advanced you will able to see the file manager like this one so I'm gonna open that inside the file manager I have a public underscore HTML um, folder you can say that path inside the public underscore html folder our path have all domains and inside the domains you will get all the files which are used to run the your website so i'm going to open that and inside there have all files and also folder which are related to your site but inside this one directly have a and other folders which are represents another sites also another subdomains like this one this is a tutorial and this is also subdomain domo and this is a dom uh, domain name baby someone this is a uh, also domain name inside the domain name you can say that also a uh, folder have a i'm gonna open alan sorry umbra.com inside they have all files which are used to run the al 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 ansari umrah.com let's see i open al ansari umrah.com so this website is uh running on the web with the help of wordpress and those all files are related the wordpress inside they have a folders and also files right if you want to check out the uh, main directory so you need to click on back inside there have a parent directory i'm going to show you what is parent directory so i bought the hosting and domain from Bluehost with the help of tubeclassify.com right so those files all those all files are represents my this one domain but inside there have also another domains which are represents another websites for example you want to add another domains then the domains directory will be created inside public underscore HTML path you can use that to upload the website or create a website I'm gonna show you practically example on that for example we have made the domains i'm going to show you the domains uh, like tutorials subdomain tutorials.alansai.com i'm going to show you how you can use that to upload your website but this time i'm going to show you how you can upload a static website like html based website so i go to subdomains and i'm going to check out as you can see tutorials.alansaiumra.com so this is your domain subdomain and this domain directory will create inside the public underscore html path once you add the domain inside the hosting then the directory will be created automatically then you will use that to uh, install the wordpress or upload any website as you want this time i'm going to show you how you can upload static website so let's get started i'm going to open a uh, public uh, i mean uh, tutorials folder you can't see anything else without default folder with the name of cgi hyphen bin so i go to my desktop uh, i think uh, i check out the uh, camtasia i go to uh, I cut that this is I think a e shop uh, so this is a theme I think so a template this is the HTML best template so I'm gonna check that template and I'm gonna open index.html yes this is a simple template this is a html based website you can say that html based website right so i want to upload this one website or a template inside my domain like tutorials.alansai.com on this one domain subdomain so what i'm gonna do on there i just go to my directory and we need to just upload the 
complete folder so I upload that and I go to my template free uh, main template those are files you need to select all the files right click it and then you need to click compress zip this is your folder you need to drag and drop inside your hosting panel then you need to wait once you upload the project or uh, template or website then you need to click go back this is your tutorials directory or folder you need to right click under the zip folder and click to extract extract here and close that and then you need to click reload as you can see so let's see your site is running or not so let's refresh the page or open the website as you can see this is my live site running on the web and we have uploaded the folder uh, I mean template like uh, this one so this is a static website I'm gonna teach you also how you can upload uh, the PHP based website and how you can install the WordPress from cPanel and how you can make a backup of the website for example you want to make a backup of this website or make a backup with php based website wordpress website i will teach you everything as you want so i'm going to close that so this is a call file manager if you want to go back you need to click on back and you are able to see all the same thing which are related inside the public underscore html directories so i hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture